Welcome back to the Work-Life Balance Challenge, and today we're in Las Vegas. So in today's video, I also want to go a bit deeper into my personal stories. I feel like now we've gotten to know each other a little bit better, and maybe it's time for me to open up a little bit with stories that I was struggling with so that it can give you some kind of idea that you can accomplish great things even though you started from nothing. So today I wanna go deeper into having a vision and executing on it so that it becomes a reality. And what better place to do it than in Las Vegas, the city that is literally built in the desert and is just one big vision. Every time I struggle with vision, I always think about Las Vegas, how you can literally turn a place in the desert into what it is today. For today, I wanna to go deeper into an exercise called The Perfect Day. And on top of that, I wanna share some stories with you how I started off with nothing and how nowadays I'm literally doing the things that I wish I was doing when I was a teenager. So I'll go deeper into how I started off, how my visions have progressed, the tools I've used for that and how the perfect day fits into all of that. So if you scroll down on this page, you'll see a video that I made about my trip in Las Vegas. This is to give you some inspiration if you like driving fast cars or doing crazy stuff. But the idea behind it is that if you want to have something, maybe you want stability, maybe you want an office, maybe you want your own business, maybe you want a girlfriend or a boyfriend, that is all possible through vision mapping. So what is vision mapping exactly? I was first introduced to it a couple years ago when one of my mentors told me that every goal that I had not only should be written down, but it should be in some kind of picture format. And on the screen, I'll bring up my old vision board so that you can see what I used to envision, the things that at the time seemed completely out of reach for me, and then within six months, I would accomplish them. And then when I was a teenager, I used to imagine where I would travel the world and film all these conferences and meet really cool people. And nowadays, it just has become the norm for me. And everything through vision mapping and practically, the way I start, so every six months, I do this exercise. I take a notepad and a pen, and I answer several questions, which I'll put down below, but the idea behind it is that you make it as detailed as possible. I have friends that make 10 pages perfect days, and you start literally with the details. So when do you wake up? When do you go to bed? What do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat for lunch? What do you eat for dinner? Who are the people that are with you or are you alone? And then, of course, I use the format of health-wealth relationships. As you know, you have an internal and an external component. So I craft the entire day looking at what do I do for my internal health? What do I do for my external health? For instance, do I meditate? Do I go to the gym? Am I with somebody? Am I going on a date with my girlfriend, for instance? Are we traveling together last minute? Or am I going to the office because I want more stability? Or have I just hired somebody new into the team because we're expanding so fast? The point of this video is to show you that it is limitless. In essence, you want to answer a couple of questions for your personal life, but also for your business life and career. Your perfect day, the day that literally if you read this in six months and by chance you're living it, you'll realize that this was something you thought was not possible and suddenly it has become the norm. Things like how often do you travel? Are you able to do spontaneous trips? How many hours do you work per day or on your business? Where do you work? Who do you hang out with after work? What are you doing specifically in the morning, in the afternoon, and the evening? And I guess most importantly, how do you feel about every aspect? From the moment you wake up, how does that feel? When you're looking outside your window, what do you see and how does that make you feel? And when you go to bed, what is the feeling before you close your eyes and how does that make you feel? The idea is to write everything down in detail. And then we go into a deeper exercise. So now everything is written down. So what I do in the next step is actually quite simple. I go on Google and I start picking out pictures of perfect things that I right now can't imagine even doing, but somehow if that happens, I know that I'm doing well. So things for me on the superficial level were something like getting a girlfriend when I was lonely with some kind of specific look and personality. Or in the beginning when I used to be completely poor and alone, one of the things on my vision maps was to be included in a family. So I had a picture of a family on the beach and the idea was that 
I would be able to have some kind of family and be able to stroll with them on the beach. These simple things. Another thing, because I didn't have any money, was the Audi R8, which to me seemed like the most perfect car at the time. I found a picture on Google of the exact color that I wished I would have had if I had an Audi R8. And I would watch it every day before I would close my door and go to my work. And then when I went to Las Vegas, I actually raced the Audi R8. So it can go very superficial or it can go very important, just like I had with the whole family experience. And then eventually when I did find my girlfriend, it was clear that it was important that she had a great family and that they would include me. And the feeling that you get once your perfect day is accomplished, once you can literally cross off the things on your vision map, is just unrealistic. And that's why you do it every six months to show yourself that you're growing and you're doing amazing. Now this exercise, I have to be honest, is really funny. Because you start off with really ridiculous things and then you start realizing that something happens. You don't know exactly what is happening, but something happens to make you focus on it. And when you start accomplishing it, the superficial stuff kind of start fading away. So you start introducing stuff that actually matter to you. For instance, one of the things that mattered to me was a physical team. I had a virtual team all over the world, but a physical team seemed to be a bit more interesting for me because I could hang out with them the whole day. Or a specific office so that it was motivating to go there. Or having a chef in the canteen to keep my health in check because I didn't have enough time to cook. These are things that I started putting on my vision map and it started becoming reality. Us moving to a better office, all of these things are possible and that is kind of what I want to leave you with today. Of course, the example video was to give you an idea on a superficial level what is actually possible when you literally come from nothing and you don't have any support. And then you can accomplish it through simple envisioning and execution. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need inspiration, then check out the questions below. Check out the video again. I hope it gives you some inspiration. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next day of the Work-Life Balance Challenge.